Hey, what is up everybody? I'm Star Lord, and today I'm going to be talking a little bit about Shadow Lugia in Pokemon Brick Bronze. Now, this is something that's been on my mind for quite some time now, and up until recently, I thought, you know what, this would be the perfect time to now actually make a video on this Pokemon and kind of explain to everyone what Shadow Lugia is and um, everything else like that. So yeah, before we get into the video, guys, if you do end up enjoying this video, uh, be sure to leave a like on it. I would very much appreciate it. And also, I would actually like to announce that I am doing a Robux, a Robux gift cards giveaway. I actually asked you guys um, what kind of uh, way I should do my giveaway, and a lot of people said that I should do it through my Roblox group. Now, I actually researched a little bit, and it turns out that it's a little bit more difficult than I realized. Uh, so, I've actually decided that what I'm going to do is try and go out to the nearest, like, toy store or something like that, and see if they actually sell Roblox gift cards and uh, what I'll be doing is grabbing about about five six of those and I'll be giving them away to you guys uh, So yeah, definitely keep an eye on the channel for that guys um, Because you know, it's pretty much free Robux and it's around Christmas too. So that's you know, that's pretty neat um, Anyway, so Anyway, let's get let's get into this. So first off, if you don't already know about Shadow Lugia, uh, basically Shadow Lugia first appeared in a Pokemon game on the GameCube, I believe. It was the GameCube. I'm pretty sure. Um, but basically, this game was called Pokemon Edge of Darkness. I'm pretty sure it is, or something of darkness, or is it Pokemon DX or something like that? I don't know. I I kind of forget a little bit. But if you know, comment down in the comment section below. I would very much appreciate it, because uh, I'm such a silly billy. Um, but basically, Shadow Lugia was first appeared in this game. I can't remember what it is, and um, everyone went crazy for it. It was just absolutely amazing. Now, basically, what happened was that um, I think the Pokemon trading card game was really popular when they brought out Team Rocket's Pokemon. So, basically, um, you could actually get cards called, like, Dark Charizard, Dark uh, Venusaur, Dark Blastoise, and um, I'm pretty sure, like, a lot of people just got really hyped about that kind of stuff, and they decided to actually do a storyline that had a Shadow Lugia inside of it. And um, we actually already know that Shadow Lugia is actually in... Pokemon Brick Bronze. You can actually get Shadow Lugia in Pokemon Brick Bronze. Unfortunately, right now, this moment right now, um, only the developers can give them out. I don't know exactly who has Shadow Lugia in Pokemon Brick Bronze, but I'm pretty sure around about three people have it. Um, either that or they have Shadow Ho-Oh. I'm not 100% sure on which one it is, though. Um, so, basically, the sprite is already in the game. I actually did a video a while back showing off all of the different secret Pokemon that haven't been revealed yet in Pokemon Brick Bonds. If you haven't already seen that video, be sure to click on the link in the description. It'll actually be there, and you can see all of these different types of Pokemon. Like, they have Rainbow Mew, they have Rainbow Ho-Oh. It's, it's insane, the amount of Pokemon that these developers have planned for this game. Now... I actually asked a developer or two a long time ago whether we would see Shadow Pokemon and everything like that given out to the public. And I'm pretty sure they said, as of right now, they're only for developers. Um, but maybe in the future, they might be actually like, you know, events and everything like that. Now, due to the recent release of Lugia in Pokemon Brick Bronze, uh, you know, you find it at Rose Cove Cave, um, or, you know, the, uh, the, what is it, the Silver Cave? I can't remember what it's called. Um, the Soul Cave? No, I don't really remember what it's called. Um, but basically, I was thinking that now or in the next couple of weeks would be the perfect time for them to actually release Shadow Lugia to, uh, you know, the public as an event, you know, because people are kind of getting bored of Pokemon Brick Bronze now, you know, the events are not that great anymore in terms of, they like, they don't last that long, that's what I'm talking about, and, um, yeah, we have to kind of wait a long time for updates in this game now, you know, like, I think before the Lugia event, 
the last update was obviously a uh, shadow uh, Mars shadow even uh, but before Mars shadow it was a long time before we got uh, any really good update I mean we got the apartment update but it wasn't that great, really. Come on, guys. I mean, who really uses apartments anymore? Um, so basically, I was thinking I had a really cool idea for Shadow Lugia in Pokemon Brick Bronze. And it actually involves another Pokemon. And I actually mentioned him just then. And that Pokemon is Mars Shadow. Now, what I was thinking would be a really cool event is that the players who actually got Mars Shadow uh, during the event and everything like that, or, you know, even encountered him or ran away from him, you can still capture him in the wild. So, you know, it's not like you're never going to get this Pokemon. You're never going to get it. Yeah, because you will. Now, what I was thinking is, what if, what if you had a Mars Shadow in your party and, um, you know, you just catched it or whatever, and uh, you have him in the first slot in your party, and you go to a certain location on the map. Maybe you even go back to where Lugia spawns. Hey, you never know. You never know. Um, but basically, I was thinking that the player goes back to Lugia's cave, and in Lugia's cave, um, you actually, like kind of interact with your Mars Shadow or something like that. I don't really know exactly how um, I would go about doing this, but basically, like, you somehow interact with Mars Shadow, or Mars Shadow has some kind of reaction to the cave or the, the gems inside the cave or something, and next minute, he actually puts down one of these portals, you know, the, the, the portal to the other dimension, the Shadow Realm, I guess you could probably call it. That sounds pretty cool, actually. Shadow Realm, yeah, I like that name. <laughs> so basically, what happens if you go to the Shadow Realm, and upon being inside this uh, the cave where you find Lugia, you actually find Shadow Lugia. Now... I know it doesn't really seem like a big storyline or anything like that, and it actually, quite frankly, seems very easy to capture this Pokemon. It really does. Um, but what I was really thinking is, along with Shadow Lugia, in this kind of way, like, so basically, you go to where Shadow, uh, where Lugia spawns, uh, you've already encountered him or whatever, but then Mars Shadow in your party kind of activates, and um, maybe you have to have a Lugia in your party too, to make it just a little tiny bit harder, you know, so that the update lasts longer. Um, and then once Mars Shadow realizes this, he puts you into the Shadow Realm, and then you're able to actually encounter a Shadow Lugia. And I just thought this was amazing. I thought this would be so cool if they did it. And personally, I think to make Pokemon Brick Bronze go that much further, it would be cool if all of this kind of happened because of like some sort of... Um, I don't know, imagine if they like brought Team Rocket back, and Team Rocket somehow had this device that... I don't really, I don't really know, it, it, it's something to do with Team Rocket anyway, and um, basically because of this Team Rocket infestation over uh, Roria, maybe like every Pokemon that you're able to capture and soft reset, you can catch Shadow versions of. So let's say for example you wanted a Shadow Landorus, you could actually go to Landorus's area with a Mars Shadow and a Landorus in your party, and then Mars Shadow would open up the portal, you would go into the other realm, and you would be able to catch it. Now, let's think about how many Pokemon you've actually encountered in Pokemon Brick Bronze where you can soft reset. So we've got Victini, we've got Landorus, we've got uh, Moltres, Articuno, Zapdos, him. We've got so many Pokemon, like already, that's already six Pokemon right there. And I was just thinking, you know what, honestly, to make this game go a little bit further, to make it last a little bit longer, that would be extremely cool if they did that. I just think it would be so cool, guys, personally. I don't know. If you agree with me, please comment in the comment section down below. If you disagree, feel free to comment again. You know, it, everyone has their opinions. If you think that it would be a bit too much, then fur dues. Um, I know a lot of people are probably going to say, well, this is just kind of like what Project Pokemon did, but... Not really. I mean, fur dues, it's auras, but, you know, shadow Pokemon is like an actual thing, and I don't know. I just think that it would be kind of cool to introduce that element into the game, uh, where, you know, you could catch the shadow Pokemon now that Mars Shadow has been revealed 
to the world. I don't know. I just think it'd be pretty cool, guys. Um, but yeah, I do hope that you enjoyed this little video. I really think that it should happen. And, um, you know, I know the developers sometimes watch these videos. And if they are, you know, please consider, the, the, consider it, you know? I mean, it, it, what's the worst that can happen? You know, it's just a really good update that will last a long time. I, th I personally think it will anyway. Um, but yeah, anyway, guys, have a very awesome day. Thank you very much for watching. And also, like I said, if you want to be in for that Robux giveaway, uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, guys, and uh, turn on notifications so that when I actually upload a video, you don't miss it. Uh, so yeah, have a very awesome day. And until next time, I mean Star Lord. Oh, see ya.